Hello, my name is Dr. Davey, and I have the distinct pleasure this year of teaching the module Number Dynamics. Uh, in this short session, I just want to introduce the material that forms the course, in particular what's on Blackboard um, and that, what, the, what the arrangements are this year. Uh, we have three handbooks for thermodynamics, and they're all on Blackboard. Uh, the main one is the course handbook. Let's write that up. So the course handbook, uh, it's formed in eight chapters. We're going to be following these chapters. It's all the notes, really, uh, all the lecture notes for the programme. Um, you'll find uh, how the course is organised in there. Uh, what exams there's for the course um, and what assignments uh, as well. Um, it tells you uh, the submission schedule for assignments and things like that. Uh, also, you'll find at the end of each chapter is a tutorial sheet uh, for you to have a go at some questions to test yourself uh, on the material as we progress the course. Um, the course uh, is examined uh, at the end of the year, we have a two-hour exam, which we have 80%. So at the end of the year, uh, two-hour exam. And that's 80% uh, of the course uh, in worth. And we also have two assignments for this course. Uh, so assignments. There's two of them. So two times 10%. Uh, so 20% for the assignments. Um, which I will issue this time and try to start the course. Uh, uh, so you can have a look at those, uh, but obviously you'll need to get into the material before you'll be able to do them. Um, so there we go. Uh, so the course handbook, very important, tells also links up to the uh, books that support the course. It tells you where to what to read and when. I'll get onto the books in a second. Uh, but essentially everything uh, that you need to know is, uh, will be found in the in the course handbook. Um, we also have a revision book, a uh, revision handbook, uh, revision, uh, which really is just an abridged version of, of the course handbook. Uh, I hope you find that useful for revision purposes. Everything is sort of condensed, um, and uh, so that at the end of the year maybe the important information is there. So that's going to come a bit later on. Um, we also have, uh, as equally important as the course handbook, I would suggest, is the problems handbook. Well, in the problems handbook, there's quite a few things. The assignments are there. As I said, I'm going to issue the assignments straight away. And you'll find them in the in the uh, problems on book. Um, you will also find all the solutions to the tutorial sheets. Uh, so I'm going to give you them all up front, right from the start. Um, I prefer you to have a go at them yourself, of course, but you can go and check how you get it on by looking at the solutions um, in the in the problems on book. Uh, you will also find um, bits of information about. Uh, uh, thermodynamic data, one of the things we have to do is use thermodynamic data on the course. Um, and there's some sparsity of data in when you're looking at liquids. So there's a little bit of information about that, how to interpolate there. Um, exam questions are there for three years. Um, there wasn't an exam paper in 2020, but the three years prior there, were, there was, and I, uh, I'll give you uh, the solutions to that, exam paper solutions. Uh, last year's paper will be re revealed to you after the assignments. Some of the questions have been used as part of the assignments. So I won't give the solutions just yet for that. Uh, also, the data sheet uh, that you will be issued in the exam, um, which is in the problems handbook as well, right at the back there. So lots of things to help you in solving problems is in the problems handbook. So this is the basic material. Um, as far as the, the course is concerned. Um, the course is supported also by uh, three books, three books, um, two textbooks which come in the form of e-books, so they're free, you can, uh, you can get them from the library, access them from the library. Um, so e-books, let's, like let's put that as a title. 
So what are the books? Well, we've got one called Thermodynamics for Dummies. Uh, don't, let the, don't let the title put you off. It's, uh, it's quite an interesting book. So Thermodynamics for Dummies. Uh, Mike Porkin, Mike Porkin is the, the guy, uh, the author uh, of that particular book. Uh, you'll find, in fact, in the course handbook, I refer to uh, a section of this book uh, with sort of guidance of how to read it, when to read it. Uh, I view this book as a pre-reader. It should, in fact, be read before you go into the course handbook. It's a gentle introduction to the material. It doesn't go to the same depth as it as is in the course handbook, uh, but it, it, it guides you into it, uh, and it's quite a nice read. Uh, so I would recommend uh, doing that read and um, look at that particular book. You can buy it; it's about ten pounds. It's, it's reasonably cheap, but it is available uh, for download. It is available on uh, by the library. The links in Blackboard. Um, so you can spend time, if you like, uh, uh, reading it, but you have to do it on the screen, unfortunately. So it's up to you. Uh, we also have another book called Thermodynamics. This is the course book, I suppose. Thermodynamics. Uh, an engineering approach. by Sengel and Bowles. And Bowles. There's actually a third author, I can never remember it. Uh, they've added it later, but essentially I'm going to refer to it by Sengel and Bowles. Uh, this book, I'd suggest, and again, I do refer to it in the course handbook, is a post reader. You can read them both if you want to read them. Um, you, can, you can certainly do that. Um, um, but probably the suggestion I would make, if you're going to do that, I would read this first, the next the dummy, first, then the course handbook, and then I would go and look to uh, single balls. Uh, uh, it's, so it's a, it's a more expensive book. If you wanted to buy it, it's over fifty pound. Um, so um, that's up to you. Um, you don't have to buy it. Again, it's an e-book, so you can actually download it. Um, read it on the screen, of course, uh, if you can, if you don't mind doing that. Uh, so they're they're freely available, anyways, as far as ebooks uh, are concerned, and they are integrated with the course handbook. And I tell you how to use that. Um, we have another book we have to get you have to get access to, which is a data book. A data book. We call it the Steam Tables. Steam tables, um, and I've got a copy just here. So, transport and thermodynamic and transport properties of fluids by Rogers and Mayu. Um, this is what it looks like a very thin thing, just loads of data, loads of numbers in there. But when we're looking at steam and various materials, we need to we need properties of the materials, thermodynamic properties that we're going to use on the course. So this. Uh, it's something you need access to, certainly. Um, it's about £10 to buy. Uh, there's copies in the library, but there's not an e-book, I'm afraid. There's no e-book for this one. Uh, I did look, and we don't have one available. Um, but um, certainly you're going to need it. You're going to need it for the exam uh, as well, although we, uh, the, the book will be provided for you. But you need access before then so that you get familiar with it, using it. Uh, because you don't want to be hanging about in the exam, uh, trying to find your way around it for the first time. So you do need that. Um, there, are, there are copies of it floating about on the internet, but I probably shouldn't say too much about that. Uh, but you can buy it. It's all Amazon, all good bookstores, so forth. Um, you can get access to this particular book, but you will need access to it uh, for doing a lot of the questions on the tutorials uh, and the exams. So that's their need. So these are the three... Uh, books that support the course, um, so they're quite important. Uh, what else? So we've got e-books, 
Uh, we've got the core material. Oh, yes. Uh, this year we've got uh, videos. Uh, so videos. What about videos? So videos. Uh, so this for the first time, in a sense, uh, these videos were produced last year as a consequence of the pandemic. Um, um, so they're a new feature, but they're all, I'm going to give you them. Uh, uh, if, you, if you think about the course, uh, we have 12 weeks, but essentially I'm not going to use the full 12. It's going to be about 10 weeks. Uh, we have two sessions on a uh, Thursday and a session on Tuesday. Uh, so we have about, um, so we have essentially uh, on a Thursday, uh, we have uh, 20 sessions really, 20 uh, essentially, so two times 10. Uh, and on the Wednesday, it's every odd week, sorry, on the Tuesday, it's every odd week. Uh, so that's only five sessions uh, uh, for, the, for the Tuesday. Um, example classes are going to be on the, uh, on the Thursday in the second session. So every, after every lecture on Thursday, I will give an example class uh, where we'll go through most of the questions on the tutorial uh, sheets. That's what we're going to do. Uh, but on top of that, I've got uh, videos, videos of the lectures uh, so we have 15, so 15 videos for lectures. Um, lectures. Uh, and for the, uh, and for the, uh, uh, the examples, I also, I have uh, about 30. These are quotes. 30 videos uh, of examples. Primarily um, the tutorial sheet example. So this is what I'm doing there. Uh, so these are quite short, generally 15 minutes there about, some of them a bit longer, some a bit shorter. Um, the lecture video is about one hour, some a bit longer, some a little bit shorter. Uh, so this is what I did last year. It's the same material, I've not changed it. Uh, I don't follow, uh, you'll find when I do the, my lectures, you'll find that uh, each lecture is unique, uh, but uh, this material is there. And how you use it is entirely up to you. Um, uh, from a pedagogic point of view, I suppose what might, might be best is actually going to the videos first before you attend the lectures. Uh, but this is entirely up to you uh, how you want to do that. Uh, and if you get stuck, of course, on the materials, for instance, you're doing um, problems in the tutorial sheets. Uh, the solutions, of course, are in the, pro uh, are in the problems handbook uh, for tutorial sheets, the written solutions, but also you'll find for a large number, not all of them, but a good number of them, you'll find solutions also, uh, video solutions as well. So you can go there as well um, to look for that. So this is material that usually wouldn't have been supplied, I would say, but the pandemic has, uh, uh, so last year I produced all this material, so it's now available uh, for use um, for this year. If I, if you catch me referring to the pandemic, uh, uh, never mind, it's slightly, slightly dated there for, uh, but, but the material, all the material I'm doing there is, uh, is definitely the material we're gonna be covered uh, on the course uh, this year. So that's, uh, so that's quite useful, I think, uh, to have that available. So as I said, we have, we have lectures. We have, uh, so for the lectures uh, uh, and example classes, now all the structure is set up in the course handbook. So if you go to the course handbook, open the second page, you'll see how everything is organized. Uh, so on Thursday morning, um, we have two hours, as I say, um, uh, where we'll do the first lecture as uh, a, a lecture and then the second one will be an example class. Um, so we don't have any, uh, we don't have any uh, uh, small group tutorials for this course. I've run that before, it's never worked out well. Uh, this is the optimum way of doing it. I get through a lot, a lot of, I go through all the tutorial questions just about uh, but um, uh, and it's quite it's quite an efficient way, and I've doubled up the number of classes in a sense. You only get five on my structure, a small group. You actually get ten for example classes. So I do a lot more going for examples because if there's a subject, you need to see how it's applied. 
Um, so we have, a, and we have one lecture also on the Tuesday. Uh, that'll just be a lecture. Uh, so in a sense, it's uh, if you look at over ten weeks, it's more or less uh, fifteen lectures there and about, or a little bit more uh, in that case. Um, so that's that's essentially what the organisation's about. Uh, there is one thing I should mention that's communication with me. Uh, so one of the things you'll find on Blackboard, I've got a, dis uh, a forum, uh, a discussion forum, where I want everyone, if you want to raise questions and you, you can't find solutions from the, uh, from the uh, course handbook, you can't, problems handbook, ebooks, all the rest of it, and you're still stuck, even after looking at the videos, then of course you can go into Blackboard and raise questions. Um, it's much better than writing directly to me. That's what I'm going to suggest. Uh, it, uh, email is pretty good for the student. It's not so good for the academic when everyone's asking the same question and there's nearly 500 students. Um, and also, so on Blackboard then, if, uh, we've got a, uh, the discussion forum there which you can raise your questions and then everyone else will benefit. But also I've got a teaching assistant who's going to help me out uh, will be watching that as well as I'll be watching that. So uh, if you could post your questions there, that would be much appreciated. Um, and we, I did it last year and it, it worked out quite well. I was able to address all the questions that were raised uh, last year. Uh, so this is, this is the structure of the thermodynamics. As I say, this is a really interesting topic. Uh, I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. Um, so I'll, I'll stop this video there. Thank you very much.